Sanchez. Shave his bum with a rusty razor. Shave his bum with a rusty razor. Shave his bum with a rusty razor early in the morning. That song features in this film that Chaz and I, Chaz Scorsese here, uh, will be uh, reviewing now. It is... Fisherman's... Tail. Friends! Fisherman's Friends! Did you go and see it? Yes. He was with me, folks. My favourite is Danny because I think he deserves more love. Mm -hmm. Because he is the one who gets treated really badly. I really, really, really like the songs because they were rhymed, they got good lyrics, like it's all intact. And there were shanties, and the funny bits were when they. When they got ha when they were in a pub all night and they and when they fought when they went on the bus they looked so less and they said oh come on guys it's not that bad but it was because they were what do you call and they were Cornish and I thought they were Irish for no reason. Hands down, I'm so sorry if, if anyone watches this thinks I'm f as if offended. Say goodbye. Alright, my lover. Uh, apologies to anybody, uh, you know, any Cornish people out there. That was my attempt at the accent. What a uh, uh, accent, uh, David, Scottish, legendary Scottish actor. David Heyman uh, had a better go at it than me. He was in this film, he was absolutely fantastic in it. Uh, so, uh, really, just, it's like local hero, that's all I can say. It's a true story, because uh, you couldn't make that up. A group of fishermen get together, they sing in their spare time, they entertain their local punters in the pub and stuff like that, where they're singing these old-fashioned sea shanties uh, about their heritage and stuff like that. And uh, lo and behold, a big uh, city kind of uh, big big wheel in the music biz comes down on a stag do or whatever with his mates, and sees them and kind of signs them up to a, a a major record deal. You know who could make that up? Because nobody could, because it was real. Because uh, I, I I've got the CDs. Well, I've not got any of the CDs. I wasn't a C6 Steve though. Uh, the the top guy. In this film, he doesn't he always get to play, you know, uh, the lead cat, the lead actor, and anything. He's more a character actor. Daniel Mays is fantastic, man. I've I've loved him in things since he was in a BBC thing. It was set in Blackpool. I don't even know the name. It, it may have been called Blackpool. Uh, it was about a gorilla and a guy in a gorilla suit, something. Anyway, uh, and he was in Line of Duty as well. He's just one of the one of the kind of the best British actors out there. Uh, and of course, the fact is, he doesn't look like George Clooney or anything like that. So, uh, you know, he's not going to be considered for leading man parts. But he carries this picture really well. In fact, Chaz said it uh, earlier. He says about uh, he was quite uh, hard done by in this film because everybody takes. The pan out on base. Yeah, he's really uh, kind of put upon uh, by not only his London posse that he comes down with in the stag do, they kind of pretend that they're wanting to sign these sea shanty singers uh, when they've no intention of doing it. So, and they'll leave him, basically, he leave him on his Todd in this Cornish village. Uh, and uh, also, the, the actual fishermen themselves uh, constantly uh, take take the kind of the mickey out of him. Uh, and uh, I think the, the kind of love interest takes a bit of the mickey out of him as well. And even, he even gets called, uh, I don't know if I can say this, but I will, he gets called a tosser by uh, uh, the, the wee girl of the love interest, the daughter of the, the girl interest as well. So uh, Danny, as his character name is, uh, is uh, really under the, you know, under the cosh for most of the... But he comes through and that's what it's all about. Uh, he kind of stays at it, he's committed to them, he believes in what they do. 
Uh, and it's a, it's a nice turn for Daniel Mays, like, uh, as I said earlier, David Heyman's in it. Uh, and, uh, what's his name, Purefoy, kind of does serious character parts and stuff like that. He's He adds a bit of gravitas as the head fisherman, uh, you know, who uh, Danny has to, he's the final one to convince to go in this recording odyssey or whatever. Uh, and also one of the major stars is the place where it's filmed because I want to go on holiday there. It is absolutely fantastic. Uh, just the, the wee pub they're in, uh, the, wee, the wee streets and stuff like that, and down at the harbour, just looks picturesque. And it, it really does echo uh, one of my top films of all time, uh, Local Hero. And I mean, they even have Danny uh, in, in Local Hero. They had McIntyre, the hero of that one, he has to go to a red kind of phone box uh, to make his calls to Houston or whatever, to Burt Lancaster, to tell him how the deal's going and all like that. Uh, and this one, it's modern obviously, but it has Danny going out right out onto the onto the, the edge of the jetty, right out to try and get, that's the only place seemingly you can get a phone reception on a mobile, so he has to go out there. So it, it really had a local hero feel. Uh, and of course there's some sad bits in it but mainly it's a good laugh uh, uh, just a, a, a nice a nice uh, a nice film sorry about that folks uh, Chaz has been arrested uh, for, <laughs> for uh, his offensive material uh, in the making of this uh, in the making of this uh, video or whatever review but uh, I'm gonna what am I gonna give this uh, I'm going to give this a 3.5 because, uh, as I say, it brought back memories of local hero, that kind of thing. Right. But he's back! I he's been bailed! And by the way, because they hate me so much because the lesson this meme you might know because it, when you do a lesson, you do a lesson. Ah! More Fortnite stuff. Chaz obsessed with Fortnite there, God knows what it means. Anyway, I, I 3.5. I'm giving it a 5, so. You're giving it a 5? That would be um, 8.5. 8.5. Well done, he's good with the maths. Uh, I'm going to see it, because, uh, you know, Fisherman's Friends. Uh, yeah, it's a feel good film, so go and see it.